Live from the Breaking News and Weather Authority, this is WEAU 13 News at 10. One person is hurt after a shooting at the Minnesota State Fair last night. A 36-year-old man is arrested in Eau Claire County for suspicion of OWI with a child in the vehicle under the age of 16. The Wisconsin State Patrol says a trooper pulled over a vehicle heading westbound on I-94 near Eau Claire around 10 this morning for speeding. The trooper says the driver, Sean Rensby of Stacy, Minnesota, showed signs of impairment. After an investigation including a standardized field sobriety test, Rensby was arrested. The State Patrol says Rensby could face additional charges of possession of THC and possession of drug paraphernalia. One person is hurt after a crash last night in Monroe County. The Wisconsin State Patrol says a semi-tractor trailer was heading eastbound on I-94 near Toma when it hit a cow in the road. The semi came to a stop in the median. A person in the vehicle was hurt. A second crash happened in the backup caused by the first crash. That shut down both lanes of the interstate. Constructions on the Cobbin Bridge in Chippewa County is expected to impact boat traffic Tuesday morning. In Jackson, Mississippi, community members are in need of clean drinking water. Right now, FEMA is providing temporary measures to help increase the water pressure after a chemical imbalance was found at a treatment plant. That happened after rain and flooding pushed the Pearl River to dangerous levels. Cole Higgins has the latest. The increase of water from torrential rain changed the chemical composition needed for water treatment. That slowed the process of pushing water out to customers. President Joe Biden plans to visit Milwaukee tomorrow. He'll be giving a speech at Labor Fest celebrating Labor Day and American workers. The Wisconsin DNR is using a new tool to fight a rapidly spreading invasive plant in the northwest part of the state. With summer coming to a close, an annual exhibit featuring butterflies is shutting down for the season. The Butterfly House at Beaver Creek Reserve shows off beautiful and rare types of the two-winged insects. As it winds down, WEAU's Daniel Gomez caught up with a volunteer who's worked the exhibit for over two decades. The Butterfly House is funded by sales from the Beaver Creek Reserve. Those who work on the exhibit say donations are always welcome to help keep the exhibit running for years to come. The special place flowers hold in our lives is pretty evident. Think of all the different occasions flowers are given. Their colors, their fragrance, and they just make people feel good. In some cases, they mean even more than that. Boyd Hooper reports on the power of flowers. Sunshine returns for our Labor Day with a warm-up to follow as we move through the rest of the week. Meteorologist Derek Dahlman is in next with your Skywarn 13 forecast. I mean, realistically, this whole weekend weather-wise has been fantastic. So if you have Labor Day plans, it's going to be a great time to get outside and enjoy nature. It is. And real quickly, before we do get to that, there is a treat going on right now, depending on where you are. The northern lights could potentially be visible the rest of the week. Definitely send us those pictures if you see the northern lights. Yes, please. Thanks, Derek, <laughs> and thank you for joining us. Have a great night.